We're going to take a look at John Rahm's swing. Now, this is from the U.S. Open at Torrey Pines, the 2021 U.S. Open that he went on to win. So now in this backswing, one of the things that, that you're going to see that John Rahm does just an absolute brilliant job of is that you can see he's going to drive the right hip backwards and you can see how that's basically taking his setup position all the way over here so that golf club is going basically right through his hand. So you can see how much hip rotation he made. He's getting the glutes, hamstrings, and quads all loaded up in the back swing. Golf club's making its way through the hands. And then when he, at this point in Rom's swing, this is a very unique move that a lot of the tour players are adapting to is that he'll actually start circling his transition right here as the left wrist is bowing. So this is a really key thing to notice here in this transition. So what he's doing, if you look at it on, on TrackMan numbers, that he's actually creating a positive path, negative face type of combination here. Even though he's trying to hit a fade, he actually has that left wrist bowed, but what he's going to do on the, on the entrance back into impact is he's going to hold that angle off and be able to just hold the club face uh, from releasing and having the club face create a little bit of a fade spin. So right there, there's that left wrist. We're going to kind of circle that area right there. You can really see when we zoom into that, you can really see how hinged the right wrist is and how bowed the left wrist is. And that's how he's transitioning that golf club up there. And he keeps what I like is a, is a circular motion. So you can kind of see that when he gets into that transition, he's going to go ahead and circle it where the golf club, that left arm and the golf club are dropping now vertically. So one of the things that, you, you know, we're going to go back into this right here. This is a, a key element of ROM swing. And I've seen it a lot more like in Dustin Johnson and, Tony Finau, they get into this transition right here where it circles, and you can really see how much vertical drop the golf club has coming down into this hitting area right here where the golf club now, you can see that it's, it's going right through that right wrist right there. And again, on the transition, you can see that left hip really clearing, gets into that transition up there, right hip back. Now the left hip drives backwards into the left heel. Golf club is delivered right in through the hands, right there. Now from this angle here, that body rotating left, there's the delivery of the golf club right there. Now you can see that club face is just slightly open there, and that ball's launching right up that yellow line like that. Beautiful rotation. Now when he gets around into that finish, you can see right there with the hand action, holding the angle off and then creating a little bit of a fade move. You can see a little bit of a high finish. I think if he was trying to hit a draw, it would be a little bit more of a lower finish, but a lot of times these guys on tour, when they make their way through impact, if they want to hit a little bit of a fade, then what happens is that you'll see the exit here. I'm going to draw a swing plane line here, and on this swing plane line, we'll do it in blue. So right there, we'll, we'll go back a little bit. So there's the swing plane line. He's coming in under plane here. Now on this exit, he's going to exit above plane over here, to create his fade and to get that ball spinning a little left or right. So it's, it's a lot of it's in relationship to how that swing path is working in relationship to being on plane. A lot of times I like to hit those fades where they're a little bit under plane there and then exiting above plane over here with a high finish, very similar to the great Jack Nicholas, how he would exit a little bit above plane to create a little bit of a fade on that ball flight. So these are some real key elements in John Rahm's swing that you can copy at home.